today we will see about a new return type called covariant return type covariant return type this covariant return type it is based on a principle called liskov's substitution principle of behavioral subtyping let us first see what do you mean by liskov's substitution principle now you see two ducks over there now liskov tells like you have two ducks over there one is actually a real duck and one is a machine duck okay machine duck which works on batteries now i'm going to talk about the machine duck if it looks like a duck quacks like a duck but need batteries but need batteries it isn't of the same data type of the parent hope you able to understand if it looks like a duck looking is fine the sound is fine but the working it doesn't work like a normal duck it works like a battery operated duck you probably have the wrong abstraction that is what is meant by liskov substitution principle now let's come back now covariant return type it refers to the return type of an overriding method return type of an overriding method it usually works for non primitive return types we will see that with the help of an example i'll write a program so that you understand it better okay now we will talk about covariant return types okay this is my dummy program okay i'll have all that here i'll have covariant demo okay, now i will start writing my program now this covariant return types they are actually a new concept in java okay up till java 5 up till java 5 you did not have this covariant return type only in versions above only in versions above java 5 covariant return types are supported in our particular jdk yes it will be supported because it is greater than java 5 okay now this covariant return types it usually works with overriding overriding methods hope you remember what is overriding you have a parent you have a child and you have the same method in both places the parent is overridden and the child is called okay so let's have two classes i'll have a class a okay and i will have a method inside class a i'll go very simple public void disp and i'll have an sop over here control c control v okay parent a is displayed okay i'm going to have inheritance i'm going to have inheritance i'm going to have a new class called b a new class called b which is inherited from a i have the same function name called disp and here i will be displaying the child b uh, let me come to my main i'll just uh, write code for my main a a is equal to new a new a i'll even call my a dot disp i'll even have an object for b b b is equal to new b b dot disp i'll even save my program file save as covariant demo dot java okay now hope this program is very clear for you i've got a parent class i've got a child class which extends a i've got two functions the same function name the same number of arguments and then i am calling each through an object this is a pakka method overriding okay now let us learn about what do you mean by a covariant return type now 
when you have method overriding as i was telling you the function name should be same the number of arguments should be same and even the return type should be same for method overriding now imagine i want to change this like int okay public void display in the parent and instead public int display in the child when i run this program i will obviously get an error simply because you know my java doesn't support it java doesn't support this because you know it's very simple it cannot be overridden because you know here it is void and here it is int now when better versions of java came up greater than java 5 they started giving the option like instead of uh, having the primitive return types okay you hope you remember what is meant by primitive and non primitive non primitive okay i will just give you a quick revision about primitive and non primitive primitive is all of this your int your char your boolean all these kind of your float your even void comes here or float double okay all these kind of data types are your primitive data types these are usually the return types in any function you will either have void as a return type or you will have int or char or boolean or float or void so these are the normal return types which happen in any function is it bebit yes or no these are the normal normal return types which happen in any particular function now in covariant return type you can even support non primitive now non primitive is user defined non primitive is user defined uh, for example uh, your class your class or an object interface array okay these are the non primitive data types these usually they do not come as return types they do not come as return types they don't come as return types usually your primitives come as a return types and your non primitives they do not come as return types but above java 5 they say that non primitive can also be used as return types non primitive can also be used as return type okay now let's see i have a public int display anyway this will not work this will not work now you can give a return type of a non primitive non primitive i can use class over here the particular class i have is b i can return b instead of a primitive data type instead of a primitive data type i can return a non primitive data type only thing is i've got to add an extra code over here because i'm re returning my class itself i add up a code called return this return this particular class this instance of the class okay now my return type is non primitive return type is non primitive similarly even here because for overriding you know the data type should be same i can even make it here also class the particular class a so i write here class a here also because i'm returning the class i should be giving return this return this okay so supporting of a return type which is non primitive you call it covariant return type okay i'll go once again supporting a primitive data type is normal in method overriding but when you support a non primitive return type this particular thing you call it as covariant return type it is not supported in all versions of java only in versions above java 5 it is supported like you know imagine you have an old uh, old version this program will not work but in your machines it should work because you know we have the uh, new version we will see how the program runs hope you able to see the output okay 
you get the parent a and you even get the child b but my return type was non primitive my return type was non primitive because you know i used the concept called covariant data types where non primitives could be returned with the help of a class and a return this statement i will take my program once again i'll explain the program i've got a class a i've got a class b which is inherited from a and then i have my normal calling the disp method now i've used covariant return types because i am not interested in returning void i'm not interested in returning void on a primitive type i am returning a non primitive type here i'm returning a class simply because in the parent i'm returning a class even in the child i'm returning a class here i return class a here i return class b because i need to return a class i have to write the statement called return this 